The expectation, the hopes for this were high. Ridley Scott's involved, Harrison, you're involved. But presumably, this isn't the first time. Not just involved. No. <laughs> you're in it. You're in it. You're on the poster. Yeah. Yeah. My question is this. So, there must have been mentions of a sequel between... It was 1982, wasn't it, when it came out? So, between then and now, so wh why now, why not before? I guess because Ryan wasn't available. <laughs> 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 well, for many years, he wasn't available. Yeah. Yes. Well, not for 30 years. <laughs> but they were waiting for me to grow up. <laughs> But they decided to have to go ahead anyway. <laughs> no, they finally yeah, came up with a good uh, with the story. And I read it and I thought it was awesome. I thought it was great. And I, as I read it, I read about the character that um, uh, Ryan. Ryan. It's Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> uh, came to play and I said, and I, and with great enthusiasm, I called up the producers and I said, this is great, I can't wait to get blah, 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 and uh, what a great part. Why don't we see if we can get, um, uh, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. Yeah. And they said, oh, uh, I don't know how to. Gosling? Um, <laughs> Gosling. Brian, yes. uh, Ryan, you got that on tape? Ryan Gosling. <laughs> and I said, why don't, this win. is a great part for uh, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> yeah. And they said, we've been talking to him for months. <laughs> now, wait a second. They'd only been talking to me for weeks. <laughs> She was, she was promoting a film. Amazing. She didn't know who she was playing in the film. <laughs> it was finished. It was in the cinema. Yeah, it was a long time after we'd filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> you might have checked before you came on a chat show. <laughs> She is about it. I, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just want to smile. I, I don't know it. why they, they also, because contractually, no offence, but we sort of asked to come and. and All right, fine, thank but you. I love you too. No, 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 no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she doesn't mean that. I don't mean that. I didn't. Oh, God. You see, why? She doesn't why want do they to send... be here, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. I love Graham, <laughs> but I do wonder why they asked me to do it. <laughs> I, I don't help, do I? You, you... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just keep thinking she's never been in one of my films. <laughs> no, she's good. I like, I like, it. Thank I like you. her. Thank you very much. I like you. <laughs> so, who did you meet at the Golden Globes? Oh, how long you got, man? It's just like, oh, so... Did amazing. you meet these guys at the Golden Globes? No. I met, I, met her, I, met, I met her before at these awards, Governor's, 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 Governor's Awards, Board. and she was really cool, and we just spoke about stuff. It was really nice. Yeah. And then, um... <laughs> but no, I met, I met, I met, I met, I met Oprah. Good story. It was the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was really nice. He was a nice person. It's cool. That's like... It was nice. I couldn't believe shot. he was English, because his accent was so flawless and get out. And oh. I was like, oh, my God. And any time I meet anyone who's English, I'm just... Immediately, like, I love London, I miss it. Do you live there? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you I talk do. about London. Yeah, yeah. We talked about London. We yeah, yeah. talked about London. <laughs> and then, no, I met, I met, I met, that's what happened, yeah? I met Denzel. Ooh. I met and Denzel, and Denzel and Oprah at the same time. It was it was just this segue. It was just this like this I don't know like African American excellent segue of black. Ex <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's like Denzel came up to me and was like, oh, he came to me in English accent. He was like, yeah, mate, yeah, cheers, mate, cheers, mate, cheers, mate. And I'm like, well, what, what's happening? How do you know who I am? <laughs> and he was like, and then he went to his wife like, he, he thinks I don't know who he is. And then uh, and then he goes, come meet Oprah. And then I was like, oh, right, cool. Right, cool. We're gonna meet Oprah. Let's meet. Oh. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, I just, yeah, I hugged her. I hugged her so tightly. <laughs> she felt so good, man. <laughs> so good job. Yeah, she felt, she felt good. Apparently, she smells really. She has an amazing smell. She smells smell. amazing, Graham. Like I swear, like <laughs> Oprah is just premium. Can the premium. rest of the couch? <laughs> You must have all met Oprah. Does she smell amazing? I've never met never. Oprah, I, but when I do, I, I'm going to hug her for sure. I have never met her. Did you smell her? At the Golden Globes, but she was too far yeah. away. You got to inhale deeply. I, we're inhale all deeply. Around <laughs> sniffing near yeah, Oprah. Now I know why there was suddenly such a nice smell in the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right.
No, she was really cool. It was really surreal. <laughs> now, uh, I hate to pick on Eddie. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, uh, Eddie, your kind of... Would, that, would it be right to say your sexual awakening was... was sort of... was a two-dimensional <laughs> sexual awakening? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's true. I, I, I was once interviewed and I was asked, like, well, you know, who were the, your first crushes? And, and, um, and I did... I, I, I loved The Lion King when I was younger and I had a weird obsession with Nala. <laughs> <laughs> but, but <it> was... <laughs> Look at her face, she's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> she can sing really well. <laughs> That's wrong. That is so wrong. <laughs> and is it true you like Maid Marian as well? <laughs> yes, that is true. She's a fox, though. Yeah, but I have that too. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, there's... Oh. No, 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 but in Eddie's defence... <laughs> in Eddie's defence, they draw them really sexy. <laughs> Well, did you like because Robin Hood? Robin Hood was quite sexy. We've got Robin Hood. There he is. <laughs> and that yes. tunic is worn very low, I notice. Yeah. yeah. Mm, he's packing. And... <laughs> it was my first attempt at stand-up comedy. And uh, what happened was I, I'd always wanted to do stand-up comedy. I didn't have the guts to do it. I got very drunk. I had a go at doing it as a blue coat. My mate said to me, just copy all the other comedians at Pontins and steal their jokes and basically talk to the front row. So you're supposed to say, where are you from? They say Scotland, you say who paid for your holiday, where you're from, Wales, you make a noise like a sheep. Rubbish jokes, right? <laughs> but I said, that's terrible. He said, don't worry, you're just padding. What you're doing is you're looking for comedy gold, which is, where you're from, they say Kent, and you say, what did you call me? Right? <laughs> now, at Pontins, this used to take the roof off, right? <laughs> so I tried it, but I was very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so I go on stage... And I say, where are you from? This bloke says, Scotland. I can't remember the joke. <laughs> I say, hello. <laughs> then I said to the, where are you from? The guy says, Wales. I black out and I go, hi. <laughs> I panic. And then I say, anyone in from Kent? <laughs> and this bloke shouts out, me. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, <laughs> Well, you're a. these things with, I yeah. swear to God, that's a true story, yeah. but that is verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> it's still in my act, isn't it? It's still in my act, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hiya. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name's Aileen. Aileen? Yep. And I, I'm guessing you're from Ireland. I am. I'm oh. from Derry. Oh, you're from Derry, up to the north of the country. OK. And mm -hmm. do you live there or here? Uh, study here. I live over there. Oh, right. What, oh, are, you yeah. what are you studying? <laughs> uh, costume design. Costume, costume interpretation. Design. OK. There will be Something. subtitles on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> right now, only I can understand the <laughs> 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 Yeah, but, okay. but I know. Uh, yeah, I can't. No. no. <laughs> so far, you're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of costume interpretation before. <laughs> it's like costume design, isn't it? Except Co fancier. Fancy? It's fancier, Frank. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the lever. <laughs> 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 OK, uh, off you go. Right, so lead up to Christmas, I was back home um, and had a different exact face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any of it? Christmas. Something about Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> That's the only good detail so far. <laughs> just, just, just pick out words, you'll follow the story. Okay. Say, blah, 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 Christmas, right. blah, 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 home. I ran into the shop and I had to get milk and bread. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, run in, run out, get the groceries, let's go. Told my boyfriend to do a lap and just pick me up, no need to park the car. So as planned, <laughs> I came out, you know, perfect timing. Uh, silver people carrier just casually drifts by, 
casual speed, so without hesitation, I sprint across with my, with my groceries, <laughs> jump in the back of the car, screaming, and thump in the back of the chair, shouting, go, 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 go! <laughs> but give, taking in mind, it was Christmas, and I had, like, a scarf up here, and a hat. <laughs> Which was my boyfriend, turned out to be this middle aged, like, 60 year old woman. Oh, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> and pushed her foot on the accelerator <laughs> and then put straight on the alarm post. Oh! Anyway, I'm sorry. We found a selection of poor and sometimes, frankly, like, just essentially lazy translations into English on foreign menus. Oh, OK. Fantastic. So imagine we're all in a restaurant together. Yeah. And I turned to Stanley, I said, what are you going to get? And Stanley might reply, well, I'm going to get the sausage and the father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> what could that possibly be? I don't know, but the images <laughs> it conjures up. <laughs> It must be some sort of toad in the hole, must yes. it? Yes. It's getting worse. Yeah. It must. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is a, I mean, really, oh. I mean, I don't think it's anybody... It's a specific relative, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. Well, you know. yeah. And I don't think anyone wants this German-type sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't think you can go wrong with a nice place of... <laughs> Hand shredded ass meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, everyone's favourite. Do you want some more? <laughs> Just another handful. Uh, uh, what do we have next? What wine now, this goes is... with that? Stanley, you'd know. What wine what? goes with that? <laughs> 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 yeah, a wine pair. Yeah, I'm doing a wine pairing menu. Yeah. <laughs> This is a special brunch for the weekend. I might have the fresh salad followed by a variety of opinions. You can almost yeah. imagine that on a menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Under a magic cost, though. <laughs> yeah. right? That's like Parliament. <laughs> they really serve in Parliament. But then sometimes people are just a bit lazy. So this one, there's bigger menu. Uh, there's some smoked cow feet, <laughs> and then there's just cow something. <laughs> I looked it up. There wasn't there. Just cow something. I don't know. It's just it's beef, in it? Just have it. But that person took a bit of trouble. This next person couldn't be bothered at all. And item number two on the menu. Whatever. <laughs> it's food, isn't it? It's food. <laughs> have it. It's only your dinner. You'll eat again. It's whatever. We move oh. on to dessert now, ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh, oh. oh. let's all let's <laughs> all have a bowl of nuts with scum. <laughs> <laughs> What's nuts with scum? You can get strawberries with scum as well. <laughs> and if you really want to push the boat out, why not have some chocolate puke? <laughs> And finally, is there anyone who live who doesn't like sweet tight pussy? Well, not all the bad we translated. Now listen, uh, Elijah, I mentioned that you're going back to for the mm -hmm. Hobbit movies. Was there any bit of you that kind of thought about it? Because you must have been getting to a bit in your life and your career where people had stopped yelling Frodo at you in the street. Oh, no. Oh, really? No, that, no, just, that, just, that just never goes away. It's a pretty perpetual thing. Really. Oh, OK. So you can get a table, you can get a table a anywhere. I'm wearing a ring. It's a ring, yeah. It's Is not it a good? ring of power, though. That would be... It does look like the ring it of power. It does a bit, doesn't it? It's actually Hebrew. The precious! <laughs> <laughs> It is, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. And, and is it true, and this seems unlikely, that you own a single piece of every bit of memorabilia that they produced for Lord of the Rings? <gasps> oh, well, that's half true. So I've got a few things from the actual film. So I have the ring, I have Sting, I have a map from um, Bilbo's study or the living room in Bag End. And I just recently, because I, I went back and did the final bit on The Hobbit, um, and they gave me the book that Bilbo writes in, 
he writes The Hobbit there in Mac again, A Hobbit's Tale, and then I finish it as Lord of the Rings. They gave me that red volume, which the is beautiful. The actual prop. Yeah. Whoa. And on my last day in Hobbiton, it was pretty oh. magical. I know, wow. it was amazing. Hobbiton. But then in I, Hobbiton. Come on, I know. <laughs> this is it. This is all right. It's, it's a real place. To some. So listen, it's a, re it's a real place. They've actually. No, it's not. Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you screw up his dream! <laughs> so his feet are big too. <laughs> Let him dream! <laughs> so they've actually built it. Um, they, we built it for, for Lord of the Rings. We took all of the, the facades away, and then it's since been a tourist attraction. And now it's been rebuilt for The Hobbit, but with sustainable materials, with real wood, so it'll always be there. Whoa. So from now on, you'll actually get to see Hobbiton and visit it as a real place. And will people, well, can you, will you be able to you stay, there? stay there? No. You can't stay oh. there. But they are turning the Green Dragon well, pub into a visitor for it, center. Surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people we in. Where's my bedroom? <laughs> Please, why, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the jacuzzi. <laughs> So people go, yes, we're going to Hobbiton for Christmas. <laughs> I turned 19 when we first went to Hobbiton. And I'm oh. 30 now. I was talking to Pete when we were there on my wow. last day. I said, you realize that I had my 19th birthday in, in Hobbiton. Hobbiton? Yeah. Isn't that wild? Wow. Yeah, that's that's wild. Puts, puts yeah. things into perspective. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not many yeah. people can say that. I had my birthday party in Hobbiton. Hobbiton. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was circumcised at Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> could have known that it was going to take off and be, become a real place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. It's like a real place. <laughs> it's a tourist industry based on that. <laughs> Good luck getting into New Zealand, asshole. <laughs> 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 oh, it's Graham. It's Graham Norton. Come on, Graham. Good luck on you. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a hobbit denier. <laughs> <laughs> was it a honeymoon couple on a, on a plane? They were on, uh, yeah, there was a couple on a, they were on a honeymoon, and the plane hadn't yet taken off, and the, um, the, the woman who just, had just gotten married uh, just became violently and horribly ill on the plane. I mean, it was not, like, a pretty little, like, sick bag kind of thing. It was just like, I'm going to paint with my organs. Like, it was just crazy. And people were freaking out all over the plane. And, the, and the, they're, they're, so they brought a stretcher down, and they put her on the stretcher, and they're wheeling her away. And, like, the, the, uh, her, her new husband is just kind of cruising along with the thing, and he sees me, and he's like, Deadpool! <laughs> And I'm, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I don't, what, do you, like, what has she got? Like, what's happening? Like, I don't wanna, you know, like, you know, like, he's like, let's touch eyeballs. Like, no, no. Like, and by the way, your wife is like half dead. Help her. Help her, man. So it was just a very surreal moment. I'm, I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're on their second uh, anniversary now. Yeah, just yeah. Just kicking yeah. it somewhere. I had such an embarrassing <laughs> thing happen to me yesterday <laughs> on the tube. So I was it? I've obviously got, like... Oh, anyway, right, basically, what happened was... So I was stood on Oxford Tube platform... Yeah. ..and I've always got, um... So, you know, like, a glass keep cup, you know, like, it, rather than going to a coffee shop and getting a new cup, I, I carry a glass one that right. I then wash mm -hmm. and the, re-get my latte. Yeah. And, um, so I got... I got my empty cup and I was just stood at down and stuff and, uh, mm. an elderly gentleman was walking towards me on the platform and I was just like, oh, God, I'm, I just, I just want to get on the tube. I hate getting recognised. <laughs> and um, he started to walk towards me, but then he had his arm out and his arm came into my space. And on the tube, on the platform, it's crowded and it's a bit... I don't know, I just got the kind of like, oh, what are you doing? A bit aggressive, <laughs> unnecessarily. <laughs> and actually, what he was doing was he went, oh, sorry, I thought you wanted money. And he was trying to put... <laughs> To put 10p in the keep cup. <laughs> that was the greatest I know, story. I know, but I was like, yeah, 
Oh, God, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> and I got on the tube and I just, like, sat there. And I was like, someone make eye contact so I can tell this story. I was like, wait, and someone, and I was like, mm, I've got a really good story. Because, uh, Dwayne, presumably, uh, you can't hide. You can't put a hat on. <laughs> You can't put a hat on, Matt. I mean, but yet you, I, I mean, I've seen you in a gym, like a public yeah. gym. So do you just get bothered all the time? All the time. Yes. Ah. But yeah. how do you so work anonymity out? Anonymity has gone out the window. But how do you work out in the gym if people are constantly giving up to you? Uh, just be nice, say hello, get them moving, and get them moving, lift them. <laughs> But fame is a funny thing, right? So yeah. you, that story for you, well, that will be like the constant anchoring reminder, right? Of like how cool fame is, but also never like... I don't have the stress you have, though, because right. I think the thing is, if you, if you are five or six and you've got a hat on and you're dressed like a, a, a most of the time a teenage boy in a baseball cap, <laughs> <laughs> Headphones on, head down. I catch the bus and the I catch yeah. the bus and the subway every single day because I'm not in anyone's eye line like that. But I imagine you, there is something about if if you're you you can't. You're that. you're seven <laughs> feet tall. So, <laughs> so yeah. But Kevin's what? had Kevin's had weird. You've had weird fan I've characters. Well, what happens if you're three foot two? Like Wait. how does that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do? What are you talking about? It's so rude. Wait, no. <laughs> no, how do you deal with that? Five when two, you're that, you know that. Like, hey, look, look it up at everybody. Five two. I'm sorry, right? I'm sorry. So it's I don't two. think. Well, first, there's two. We're 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 skipping around some points here. First thing, <laughs> she's saying she's dressed like a teenage boy. That for somebody to put money in your cup, it's got to be a lot worse than that. <laughs> Yes, okay. Put it in the lid was there's, on. There's something, ding, ding. something within the appearance said, I need to help this person. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure they eat today. Something happened. Uh, for me, I mean, it's it's bad. Um, <clears throat> and because I'm a big deal. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just it's Did it's, you get the guy followed? Was it in a restaurant where he followed you? Oh my god. I had a I had a guy actually follow me into uh uh, the bathroom this is a true story. Uh, I'm in the stall, you know, I, I gotta go. And, you know, the guy, while I'm in the bathroom, he's like, Kevin, can I get a picture? And I'm like, you know, because I'm obviously a very big guy. I, I stand up for myself immediately. I say, hey, not in here. You wait until I'm done, okay? So you go outside. I take it with you when I get outside. Um, and I go in the stall and close the door. And, you know, you would expect whoever that was to have left, they're, they're gone. And I, you know, I do what I gotta do. And it was a, it was one of those situations where I had to be in there for a while. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm in there. Uh, and, you know, literally, you know, when you, when you get comfortable, you start to take your time. And I'm on my phone, I'm scrolling, I'm, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a comfortable environment It's what you do at me. the mall. That's it. <laughs> I get done and I like, Get out the stall and close the door. No. He's right there. He's like, hey. <laughs> He's like man, you were in there for a while. He's like, <laughs> He's like, can we get the picture? I was like, I meant outside the bathroom, man. Get <laughs> out the bathroom. I'm not taking a picture with you in the bathroom. But the fact that he stood there, like, very nicely the whole time, <laughs> it made me feel obligated. And I was like, hey, just, just come on, selfie, real quick. <laughs> Don't tell nobody you saw me in here this long. He's been friends with Jason Statham ever since. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm distracted by the makings of a <gasps> cocktail. Oh, yeah. It's a cocktail at Christmas, everyone. Yeah! yeah. Uh -oh. Shall? Shall I? Yes, Endeavor? please. Now, what have you brought us? Okay, well, I like to give Britain a little tip every now and again, so you need to find yourself a sheath, right? <laughs> now, this Whoa. is a... <laughs> Hold on, hold no, no, no. on. This... I don't know if I want that drink. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you go to the really posh cocktail bars, you oh. get these incredible ice cubes that they hand carve. Oh, no, 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 no. We go get a water bomb, right? And we just split it and we peel it off and we get a lovely round. Look, bear with me, bear with me. This is what they do at the posh places. Then we're going to make a Christmas Negroni. I love Ooh. this. It's, it's, I think of myself as a Christmas Negroni. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Only you could have said that. <laughs> I couldn't go away with that one. <laughs> um, so, Negroni, I want you to think of it as medicine, right? Okay. If you've got every one of us has someone a bit boring, a bit sort of dodgy come into the Christmas party, there's always one. 
So then what you do is you take this Negroni, a.k.a. medicine. Medicine. Right? And it turns people that are a bit problematic and boring mm -hmm. into interesting people. What's Whoa! Gonna happen? So a yes. Negroni is what's, 20... What's Jamie trying to I say? I know. <laughs> and he's pouring three drinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, 20 mils of Campari, mm. uh, 20 mils of uh, Vermouth Rosso, which Ooh. we've scented uh, with a little cinnamon and Christmas fare. Yes. Um, and then uh, we have um, a little gin, a little bit of Clementine to get yes. you going. Are you ready for this? I'm, I'm like, come on, man. Like, now, <laughs> once you sip this, if, if you don't become more interesting, I don't know what's going to happen. OK. OK. Mm. So go on. OK. Lovely. Take Darling. one, pass Thank it down. You. It's like school. Yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, we have four. We have four. We have okay, four. Yes. No, no, we're all there. Uh, it's cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This, is a bit, everyone. this is a bit like a Christmas carol, and we are Scrooge, because like, uh, Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's like six hundred tiny Tims. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Can come on. Oh, that is delicious. Oh, come the world's changing. Hold on, oh. I'll be the judge of whether or not it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> No, I like that. It has just enough Christmas in it. Here's the thing. <laughs> no, that's very good. That's right. You want to sit? You want to sit? Hold on. <laughs> oh, well, uh -oh. Here we go. Uh oh. I, I drank from this side, so you can drink from that side. You can drink from the other side. You got oh, no. You can see what you think. Is this like How's feeding it? a gremlin after midnight? How's that? <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's not too bad. I'm not mad at that. That's delicious. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. That's good. No, it's, it's, I'm not mad at that. So now we've got our Christmas cocktail. Yeah, yeah, a Christmas to remember. Yeah. <laughs> that was the Christmas O. <laughs> uh, the underwater sequence. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that looked hard. Oh dear. That was that was pretty difficult. It was a really technical, probably about a week at Pinewood because um, we shot the film least. here yeah. uh, in in London, and it, it was all underwater. It's a sequence where this sphere falls off a cliff, and she and another actor by the name of Justice are stuck inside of the sphere, and I'm on the outside of the sphere trying to rescue them as it sinks. And uh, it the water was... is filling up the gyrosphere, and at one point we're completely submerged in water. And yeah, Ooh. we we what. I don't know, uh, eight week or eight days or nine days we spent in water. Yeah. And it was, boy, I'll tell you, they put a lot of chlorine in the water because you've got a crew of 85 people just pissing this pool. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no. no one ever got it. No, 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 no. People, they, we didn't have time for people to pee. So you knew people were peeing? Oh, I'm certain of it. Did a look come across their faces? Huh? People would suddenly just... <laughs> <laughs> That was good pee face. That's a good yeah. I don't mind doing that again. <laughs> Did I give away? Yeah. She just made me tinkle a little bit. Yeah. Just <laughs> mid-sentence. Yeah, I tinkled a little bit mm. when you <laughs> Well, I, I mean, help it. It, you pee, you're not supposed to pee in the pool, but no one got out. And, and I know, because I was, I had to be underwater with my eyes open, of course, uh, as if I could see with my eyes open oh, underwater. No. Chris, and did you pee? I actually shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the bed. No time. Yeah. No time. Yeah. time is money on a movie like this. <laughs> Chris, you were in the water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I was trapped in this gyrosphere, in right? In your defense. In my defense. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt this freedom as I was working, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just was, like, really present. Um, oh. <laughs> and... You didn't pee. Claire peed. Yes, Claire did. Claire, Claire was panicked. She <laughs> lost it. <laughs> She's such a good actress. Scared for her life, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time you've said that for the last, like, seven months, I'm like, was it happy? I'm just so <laughs> deeply ashamed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, mind you, someone else has got a new suit. Spider-Man's got a new suit. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Wow. But now, uh, you really like this suit. suit, right? I do, yes. Um, because I can go to the bathroom in it, mainly. <laughs> it's funny, if you watch Iron Man 1, <laughs> Robert wore the full suit, and then if you watch Iron Man 2, he wore, like, 
American football pads that were red and gold. I'm on my fifth movie. <laughs> and I just got a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a steady climb, but I'm Well, you earned it, kid, you know. <laughs> I find that when you make enough movies, you get a zipper at <laughs> some point. Oh. But you gotta earn it. <laughs> it's one of those obstacles that are put in front of you. You gotta learn how to... Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and the, the plot kind of revolves around you going on a school trip to, to Europe. Yes, it does, yeah. The film is... Um, a direct continuation of Avengers Endgame. So we deal with the ramifications of the blip, of the death of Tony Stark. Sorry to anyone who hasn't seen the film. <laughs> if you haven't, then you're living under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's... You, <laughs> when, you were in you it. Haven't you seen... were in it. Oh, yeah. seen... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a winner. Don't spoil it for Gwyneth. No, 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 sorry. Don't spoil it for Gwyneth. Let her discover that herself. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so the story is basically Spider-Man trying to take a break. He's trying to put, hang up the Spider-Man suit and escape the responsibility of being a superhero. But what he learns throughout the course of the film is that that responsibility isn't something you can run away from. Um, and that's when we team up and we sort of become best buds on and off screen. Um, <laughs> And we fight these <laughs> elemental creatures. These... But now, filming together, like, Jake, mm. uh, Tom, it sounds like, was quite unsympathetic to you while you were filming. When, when, didn't you get a little, a little peaky in... Oh, well, uh, yeah, we were shooting a... Well, uh, we were shooting a scene, and yeah. I, I, uh, I, got a, I, got, I, I got sick. I, I, I was very nauseous throughout the day, and, and in the middle of the t one of the takes, I, I, th I threw up in the middle of the take, and uh, kept going, you know? But that's how, that's what acting's all about. <laughs> I was know. sitting opposite him, and I was, I was like, how is he doing that? He is so good. He looks so tortured and so unwell and so, <laughs> and so like, like, hurt. And then he basically just had a stomach bug. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they actually CGI'd the vomit out of the shot. But if you look in the movie, in the movie and there's, my mouth is just partially open at one, I'm kidding. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I was right there. Yeah. I mean, my God. That's the Marvel Universe. <laughs> just painting out the vomit. Yeah. 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 Right chunk. But my <laughs> eyes were so expressive that they had to keep it in the movie. That's so they good. Redo the shot, so you know? good. <laughs> <laughs> because the last time uh, you guys were on the show together, mm. and, yeah. and yeah. Anthony and Greg they did a, a boxing challenge, mm. and in a bit of a shock result, Anthony won. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> um, it weird? Isn't it weird? <laughs> it weird? <laughs> a heavyweight champion of the world <laughs> would be. Eat a biscuit eating comedian. <laughs> 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 he happy. should have both his arms tied behind his back. <laughs> now, so this time, this uh, time, we've got another challenge. But the last time it was, you know, those boxing things that you hit the boxing thing. So that's what we did the last time. This time, we've gone for one of those fun fair uh, test of strength mm -hmm. machines. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so if you'd like to bring in uh, the machine, here it is. <laughs> Come down now to our, our test of strength. Now, the two of you are going to stand in front. You're going to have a bit of a face-off in front of it. OK. Oh. OK, we're taking it yeah. seriously. Oh, no, this no, is, yeah. We're taking it seriously. And it, it's not... It's, it is of strength, but I believe technique plays a huge part in That's this. That's all I... So, have a... Oh, look! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're taller. <laughs> we're taller. Now... OK. OK. And, uh, now... Maybe I'll it, be turning up. To get us in the mood... <laughs> To get us in the mood, uh, Ken Brown is going to give us uh, a, a, just a, a little bit of form before we do this. Okay, <laughs> you do your face off, do your face off. Come on, come on. Okay, off you go. Off you okay, go. ladies and gentlemen, on the left, they call him the postman because he always delivers. It's the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, they call him. <laughs> How's he looking at? <laughs> they oh, call God, him the tight. courier. <laughs> the courier. Because he sometimes delivers. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he gets stuck in traffic. <laughs> yes, it is Greg Man Mountain David. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. So AJ. Yes. 
You go first. Uh, oh, that's not as heavy. I thought that was going to be heavier. Uh, okay. Oh. You, you, okay. <laughs> I'm not heavy. Okay. Okay, you go first. You We're go drinking. first. Uh, mind the cameras. Here we go. It's not golf. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> you go now, you go now. Okay. Okay. I know, I saw, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> so really, it doesn't matter, training, yeah. it doesn't matter oh, how hard I hit, does it? Well, oh, you I might miss it as well. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, try, try, go on. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Walk, walk this way. Walk this way. Grab a hand. Yes. Grab a hand. Oh, oh, careful. No, no, there's more than go this way. Walk this way. Walk oh, this walk way. Walk this way. OK, here we go. Anthony, way. why don't you help Judy? Yes. You help Judy. Yes. I don't think I Actually, no, maybe Craig should help you. Yeah, Craig. Yeah, Craig. OK, here we go. Here we go. What are you doing tonight? Just handing a hammer to Dame Judy Dench? Come on. Judy Dench for the bell. Judy Dench for the bell. Are you left handed or right handed? I would stand. I would stand very close. I'd say you're about there. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Oh! Beautifully done. Hey. It was better than him. Well done, everybody. That was. Look at you. Fifty Shades darker, but actually, this isn't darker. It's more romantic, I would say. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Yeah. Um... Uh, yes, but there, there's probably more sex in it, which... <laughs> <laughs> more sex? More... Yeah. <laughs> Jamie doesn't speak. No. <laughs> I, make, I make noises. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I make, like, <laughs> American-accented noises throughout. <laughs> um, no, there's... Yeah, that's there's... actually a question, though. Do they let you do that? I mean, like, when you're, when you're doing to... the scenes, yeah. does the director say... More vocalization? Or uh, do they say I mean, less, there's often or like... there's often self <laughs> There's often like it's like, there's ah! like... they're like, no, that's not that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. No one comes like that. <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, you know, like, yeah, wait, they do, man. <laughs> there's some scenes. There's some scenes where they will play music, maybe a bit of if it's a wide shot and it's not like all, it, so. It's the closest we get to sort of kind of sort of just sort of going for it in one piece um, And they'll play music or something and my temptation is always just to try to make Dakota laugh So sometimes I'll do things like when there's a moment where I'm meant to you know orgasm. I'll be like doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> <laughs> See people do that Wait. <laughs> If they don't, they should. <laughs> it's like a Ryanair flight when a Ryanair flight lands. Like, do -do 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 -do. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. You still say it backwards. So we got a bunch of Yes. I can't say do you want forward. to hear it? If you can. If I can. What do you mean if I can? <laughs> said, said Mary Poppins. Come on. Dosha Sally X B Stick Fragi Kelly Rupus. Yes, yes. Yes. What was the? What's that? I because I've never. I, I'm pretty thick, but I've never understood the thing that Morgan Freeman said to you. That. Oh, so when I was this was about ten years ago. I uh, did a film with Morgan Freeman. It was a really small film, and the first ten pages or ten minutes of the film are us two just <clears throat> driving together in a car and talking. And it took three days to shoot. And uh, he didn't talk to me the entire time, like in between takes, right? Because he had so much dialogue I learned later, right? Okay. So he was just, you know, so in between we wouldn't really chat, but we were in the car together for three days. And then at the end of the third day, he just turns to me and he goes, Jonah, Jonah, Bobona, Banana, Fana, Fofona, me, ma, Momona. Jonah. <laughs> That's 
to it. I thought it was like super uncomfortable. I didn't know what to say back. It was one of the more weird moments of my life, you know? And I just didn't know what to say, so I just said, thank you. <laughs> and then he said, it was quiet again, and he said, do me. <laughs> I was like, what? He was like, do my name. And I was like, do your name? And he's like, yeah, do my name. And I was like, Morgan, Morgan, Bo Borgen, Bo Borgen, me, my, Mo Morgan, Morgan. He went, all right, and then we never spoke again. The other thing that, that links our characters, everyone started very young. Now, Ben, the last time you were here, yes. uh, we enjoyed very much uh, your early work on yes. Voyage of the Mimi. Yes. Uh, we're not going to show any more, Thank but you. do Google it, because it is worth seeing. <laughs> Look at that slide. Uh, <laughs> what's, he, what's, what's he got cooking? <laughs> that is very good listening face. Very good interested listening yeah. face. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. That is. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, you really need to Google it. Uh, 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 Sienna, you started... Was it modelling you started? You were quite young when you started modelling. I was a short, and so... I, no, I mean, yes, but not, like, proper. <laughs> <laughs> not like that, either. No, uh, I just... What's the improper modelling? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should we just draw a veil? I, uh, did, I did a bit, yeah. Yes. And then, Emma, you did some extraordinary work as a child actor. I mean, take this, Meryl Streep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> What that is, is that? genius. Is that prosthetics? <laughs> That's amazing. That's the princess in the pea. I did a kind of Edgar G. Robinson thing where I was like, oh, 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 we are going to focus on the early dancing career of Mr. Ryan Gosling. Oh, oh well. Um, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, makes sense that the only video you have tonight is... Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. is this. <laughs> so right. the dance troupe you were in, can you tell us about... Because apparently young dancers, they can be qu quite vicious. It's a cutthroat business. <laughs> and I uh, had to get out. <laughs> I, I was on some kind of uh, Canadian star search. And uh, I somehow made it to the finals. And uh, my main competition were these two uh, twins who were tap dancers. And they were dancing to Phil Collins' uh, Two Hearts. Cool. And they had big heart-shaped bows. And they were just, uh, <laughs> they were the ones to beat. So <laughs> I remember, uh, you know, wishing them luck and going on stage. And I was getting ready to start. I was dancing the uh, Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory, mm. of course. No. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to start, which is This Is How You Started. A winning dance number, if you want to know. Get out of your hands, Mike. And I, and I, go ahead, go up. And I, and I look up, up, up into the, into the uh, just off stage, and the, the two twins are standing there like the twins from The Shining. <laughs> and they're just going like this. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, all right, this now means war. It's life. I just shimmied my way all the way to, <laughs> to that trophy, to that tiny little trophy. <laughs> no, because I, I was going—is this the same troop? I was going to say it's an all—it's an all-girl troop, but obviously it's not. You're in it, right? But, but you, you, you yeah, are. Thank you. But you are the nice only person. boy in it. Yeah, that was the. Was that the? That was the point. That I was think. the gimmick. They let me dance there for free because I was a guy. Because if you had a guy, you you would win. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so are, you, are you ready to see the, 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 the dance stylings? Uh, I believe you're dancing to Kathy Dennis's classic, Touch Me. Did <laughs> um, uh, the troupe have a name, Ryan? It was Elite Dance Studio. <laughs> in, uh... Uh, and how old are you in this one? Old enough to know better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enjoy. I, I wish I could say someone said, here, you have to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my idea, I thought. I have a vision for this number. It's, <laughs> it's 
<laughs> purple and silver hammer pants. Things happen to you. Like, your, is it your house in near Dover? Oh, yes. yes. Actually, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up, because I do rent my house. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> if you're yeah. interested... To other people. I mean, she yeah, to other people. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's the nearest house to France, which is very important in this story. And it's four hundred and twenty-five pounds a week, and it sleeps. <laughs> it sleeps um, six people for, for seven nights. It's clean. Is there a cleaner? Yes. It? Yes. No. Anyway, <laughs> one one day I got a call from the police, and they said, um, "Are you the owner of the gun emplacement?" And I said, "Yes." <laughs> and they said, "Are you aware that it's been used as a drop for criminals?" to get rid of their drugs or, you know, it, it's a drug drop. What? I believe that's the, yes. the phrase. <laughs> and um, I said, well, of course I didn't know. What do you mean? And they said, well, people have rented it. They were a gang, a gang <laughs> from uh, <laughs> Liverpool, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they, they took my house <laughs> and they dropped the drugs in the bay or they... And there was a helicopter that came on the roof. It's a flat roof, yes. you see. And they, they had cocaine. They had 30, <laughs> something like 30 <laughs> million <laughs> pounds worth of What? No, no, it wasn't like a little thing. This was a massive... What? Thing. A massive <laughs> 13 million... Jesus Christ. <laughs> ..of cocaine. Is that, is that... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... I've never no, not taken no, that any... Was, no, that was, like, wholesale. Oh, wholesale. Oh, wholesale. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, listen, I'm, it's wholesale, of course. <laughs> well, of course, I was horrified because I didn't know. I mean, I don't have anything to do with the people that rent it. No. I just take the money, you know. Uh, yeah. And, um, you could have got more. And I was... I, well, I could get more for it because it's really lovely, actually. But, <laughs> all the, that but what was upsetting the... to me <laughs> was when it was reported, of course, in the Daily Mail, um, all the you. people online said, oh, she must be in it. You know, she's part of the gang. Oh, what? yeah. <laughs> and they were calling me Miriam Escobar. <laughs> but for a Western, I mean, we see mm. Tom Hanks gun toting, which we rarely see. Well, I don't have... I don't wear one. I am given one later on, so it's not like... You know, I'm not doing the rootin' tootin' <laughs> kind of thing. But I, 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 I ride a horse, and um, I drive a wagon, and I've discovered... So I'm, not a, I'm not a rider per se, but I did learn... I, I had a fabulous... Got to know a fabulous horse named Wimpy, who was my horse. Wimpy was my <laughs> horse. And um, he, I don't know if anybody here is, has ridden a lot or made a Western. Emily has a couple of Westerns under her belt, as I recall. Emily, my darling, how are you? <laughs> Oh, wonderful to see it's you. It's good to see you. Emily I'm a, Blunt. Do you know I'm about to do a Western? Like, next January, well, I'm doing a six-part Western, and we were just discussing how allergic I am to horses, and I do every scene <laughs> with a horse, you know. I'm going to well, be antihistamined up to my eyeball. <laughs> do you have to kiss the horse? I do. That kind of Doesn't that, isn't that what happens in Westerns? You make out with your horse? You you develop an affection for those beasts. <laughs> I, you, I, and I must say, you and Wimpy. You and Wimpy. Very Every morning you throw your arms around with you and say, how are you, my darling little chestnut? I'm so nuts about you. Which you sort of have to do because I have a feeling that horses, honestly, they would much rather live in a world without human beings yeah. climbing on top of them. Sure. Yeah. And they know the they're, moment they're, they're, you climb on their back that you're terrible at riding. Like, I mean, I've been learning right now. I'm, I'm in London now rehearsing for it. And I go riding three times a week, and every time they give me a different horse to see, you know, how you fare. Oh. With one that's more sprightly were... or one that's less of a Ferrari. And I got on one the other day <laughs> called Rusty. <laughs> My God, it almost took off with me. It was terrifying. <laughs> I couldn't walk the next day. Rusty did me in. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty did her in. Rusty did me in. Did in. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is that the name of the film? <laughs> That's what you would <laughs> There's... I, this isn't... No, of course, this isn't a spoiler. But the, so there are, you know, there are set twos. You have some tetchy moments and words, and obviously you can kill them. But uh, <laughs> well, uh, can we talk about the sex scene? It's one of the best sex scenes I've seen in forever. Oh. That sex scene. Who... Put that together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. seriously. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> you... No, and it's not, and it's not, I'm, well, so I'm, it's not like they're kind of like prancing around naked. It's just, it's a really clever, so who, who put, did you guys put that together? Did Ridley Scott put it together? No, we had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Excuse I'm... me, I'm just trying to <laughs> cover yeah. my universe over here. <laughs> and of course, it's not just you in it. Uh, other screen legends, Jeremy Irons. In the uh, sex scene? But, but, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jeremy, was, is in it. Jeremy yeah, yeah. was particularly oh, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was great. He was behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you having sex? I don't know. <laughs> this is a breakthrough role for you, Jack, because an American accent. Yes. Yes. He's doing an American accent. What, in that clip? Y mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Olivia! He was. He was. <laughs> No. I'm so sorry. I heard it. It's terrible. It's, yes, no. Yeah. It was good. It Thank was good. You very much. I heard it. I yes. heard it. it was you good. see, what a lot of actors do when they do an American accent <laughs> is they tend to just go for like one region of America and they commit to a single American accent. I decided with this role that I would take us on a tour around all 50 states. <laughs> Sometimes in the same scene. I thought, why just do one when you can show off them all? <laughs> so I would start the scene talking like I was from New York, and then all of a sudden I'm suddenly speaking like I'm a Cali girl, and by the end of the scene they're stopping me because it sounds like I'm from the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> all over the place. But I thought, you know, just show off your skills. You were a bartender, and I just love the idea. You would be such a good bartender, Marco Flo. Thank you. A generous... You, don't you know he'd do a generous pour? He would always do a yeah, generous pour, yeah. Marco I, Flo. I, I, I would do a generous pour. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mostly because people would be like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> but no, but didn't you, you had your own cocktail? I had the margarita. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what is it? Going with Ruffalo, but no, margarita. <laughs> but I ended up having, uh, you know, I'd start early and I'd have my, my Thursday night crowd. Yeah. Partially because, and I'm sorry, Sean McPherson, wherever you are. I gave away a lot of free drinks. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great quality in a bartender. But you were good dealing with, with uh, drunk customers, which is... A, I, I had to yeah. deal with a lot of drunk people, yes. And um, sometimes they were not very nice. Oh, no. There'd be nights where I'd be up to my eyeballs and a-holes. Um, I'm and... saying nothing. <laughs> Should I keep going? I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Wait, what? What did I say? Nothing. Is that a spoiler? No. Everyone... No. Nothing. Is Marvel gonna call me? No. No. So, no. Wasn't there a guy who wanted, uh... Wasn't there a drunk guy... Oh, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't there a drunk guy? It wasn't that kind of bar. <laughs> Wasn't there a drunk guy who wanted uh, Sambuca? Yes, there was. Okay, so tell us about him. So, occasionally, um, you would get someone who was so obnoxious, and uh, it was the end of the night, and this guy came in, and he's like, all right, and he was wasted, and he was such an a-hole. And uh, he's like, I want a Sambuca. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. You, you, you're doing okay. <laughs> he's like, give me a Sambuca. <laughs> and... <laughs> Did he hit okay. his knee like that? <laughs> that the bar. Was that the bar? I thought, yeah. Give me a Zambuca. I'm like, okay. So I pour him the Zambuca. Light it! <laughs> I'm not gonna light your drink, man. I don't like drinks. Okay, you wanna light your drink, you light your drink yourself. Light it! Okay. <laughs> I light the drink. He takes it. <clears throat> And it goes all over his face, dripping down his face, blue flames everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> and he... <laughs> beats the hell out of himself to get it out. <laughs> Give me another! <laughs> oh. Sure thing. <laughs> You want me to light it for you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Same 
thing all over me. <laughs> it was one of the greatest nights. <laughs> I sort of like him for having another one. I, 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 I love them. He, he walked out with like a, like a, 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 a flaming red goatee. Oh. <laughs> oh, that brings back a really painful memory. It was you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Like 12, 13, I I I was late, I was a late bloomer, but I had a premature mustache. Like I had, I had hair there and nowhere else, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean my head, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I was begging my dad, because kids were making fun of me, like, hey, you stash swimmer, you must, you know. And so I was begging my dad, hey, can I please shave? And my dad was like, You're too young to shave, I'm sorry. But I was <laughs> I took matters into my own hand, and I borrowed some of my sister's nair. Oh, no. And, and, and for those of you who don't know, it's like a chemical hair removal. It's, it, we got an IMAC. IMAC. IMAC, yeah. Oh, okay, so I put it on my lip, but I left it on too long. <laughs> so I had a burn mark. <laughs> Just like the guy. Just like the guy. <laughs> Only, uh, it was, you know, I had to then go to school, and everyone knew I had tried to <laughs> take my hair off, and they're like, what the? <laughs> so all these other names. So I'm sorry to bring up, we live <laughs> that, yeah. that trauma, but <laughs> I want to share that. So. Very good. I heard you talking somewhere today about how your height difference makes those stunts <laughs> more complicated. Thank you, Graham. <laughs> I didn't say it. Didn't Dea say it? <laughs> no, that is a good story. It's a good story. Well, you see, there's there's a particular stunt. There, I, I don't know if it's in this, but there's a you know he Spider Man swings us on top of a bridge and he places me there. Oh, there you and are. I, that's the bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's the bridge. We eventually <laughs> jump off of that. I was great. screaming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he's supposed to gently you know rest MJ on the bridge and walk away from her. It, because of our height difference, I obviously, if we're on the same like yeah, point, we, were attached, I, we, we were attached. I would land before him. My feet <laughs> obviously hit the ground before he does. <laughs> so, <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> well, it's, there's like, it's called a bottom mark, isn't it? And the bottom mark is to basically, it's a thing that they do in stunts that is basically designed to stop you shattering your kneecaps. Oh, yeah. So Zendaya would land, and I'm the superhero. I'm supposed to look cool. <laughs> and she would land, and then I would sort of land like this, and my feet would swing from underneath me, and then she would catch me. Like <laughs> <laughs> and then like, cut! And I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that! <laughs> don't answer this question if you don't want to, Patrick. Okay. But I have... I don't know why you brought this up, but I did hear you discuss that you had an extraordinary disagreement uh, with your wife about yourself. Do you know what I'm talking about? By myself, you mean... Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <coughs> listen, yes. listen, I mean, do you know um, this story? I do not know listen this Listen with story. interest. Uh, well, <laughs> one night, as you do, we were talking about stuff. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I just had no interest in... And, of course, being circumcised, I said... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were chatting. They're married. They're married. They're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and she said... She said, you're not circumcised. I said, what do you mean? You've only known me a few... I, I, all my life. I remember my mother telling me why, because it was fashionable at the time. She said, you're not circumcised. I said, that's ridiculous. I should know if I'm circumcised. <laughs> of course I am. End of conversation. But the next day, I happened to be seeing my doctor... <laughs> for... Are you OK? <laughs> seeing my doctor for my annual physical. Of course. So, uh, <laughs> while he was down there, <laughs> I said, uh, Excuse me, oh, oh, by the way, uh, Irv, um, <laughs> the, my wife and I had a little disagreement. Um, <clears throat> I, I am circumcised, <laughs> aren't I? Because she says I'm not. And he goes, <laughs> Not. <laughs> I said, no, 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 it's not possible. So he looked down again and he said, hey, I'm Jewish. I know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, uh, that is a bizarre Too story. Too much of <laughs> 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 I have grandchildren.
children. <laughs> You're going to have to change your Facebook status now. <laughs> yes. No more beef stew. <laughs> well, there's more beef stew. <laughs>